If you're waking up more than twice a night to urinate, you're probably tired of it and want to solve this problem once and for all. Today, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process that you can start using today to solve this problem for good. Hello, I'm Dr. Thiago, a urologist here in Sao Paulo. Our bladder is a reservoir. Our kidneys produce urine 24 hours a day, and this urine flows directly into the bladder. As the bladder fills up, there's an alarm that notifies our brain. And this alarm goes off in proportion to the amount of urine inside the bladder. For example, at first, with 100 or 150 milliliters, it's as if the bladder whispers to the brain, hey, I'm filling up. Usually, it's a very faint signal, and depending on what you're doing, you might not even notice it. As the bladder keeps filling up, this alarm gets stronger. Then you feel the first urge to urinate, which becomes conscious. And then, as time goes on, instead of being a normal alarm, it starts to shout saying, go pee! It's that feeling that if you don't go to the bathroom, you're going to wet your clothes. So, it's a gradual alarm system, as the bladder fills up. And besides that, our brain has systems that filter what reaches our consciousness or not. For example, you weren't feeling your shoe on your foot until I mentioned it to you just now. Our brain is constantly, minute by minute, being bombarded with various pieces of information that are filtered and don't reach our consciousness. As you direct your attention system to something, then that thing comes through. If you're on your street and something explodes next to you, that noise will grab your attention and obviously that will come through. This happens with the bladder. A tiny signal often doesn't make it through the filtering system of our consciousness. Why do I say this? Think about that time when you were so focused watching a movie, working on something or doing some physical activity that you only realized you needed to pee when you were almost, when you were almost wetting your clothes. This is common. Let us know in the comments when was the last time this happened to you. And why am I bringing this up now? What does this have to do with waking up at night to pee? Because there are three main reasons why we wake up at night to urinate. The first is that we're producing too much urine at night. If the kidneys produce too much urine, the bladder will fill up more quickly and you won't be able to go six, seven or eight hours of sleep without going to the bathroom. The second reason is the sensory system is letting through information that used to be just a whisper. For example, when people sleep poorly, they wake up and at that moment, when you wake up, you reactivate the entire sensory system that was turned off. After all, you were sleeping and then everything comes through. And then you woke up and felt the urge to pee. It's just that it's so instantaneous that you think you were woken up by the urge to urinate. And the third reason is the alarm or the bladder's capacity is small. So this alarm goes off a lot. And then, yes, you wake up to pee because your bladder's capacity is small and the alarm is going off too much. And now, with the step-by-step -step process we're about to learn, which I'm going to share with you, you'll have the knowledge to identify this. How can you understand what's happening and bring this information to your doctor? Because everyone believes that waking up several times at night to urinate is either normal for your age or a prostate or bladder problem, but that's not necessarily the case. You're going to do what we call avoiding diary. For a full 24-hour period, you will meticulously write down every single time you find yourself needing to go to the bathroom and you will carefully record the precise volume of each individual urination, every single instance that you pee. 24 hours, okay? And it's very important that you start in the morning and finish in the morning of the next day. For example, if you're going to start this diary tomorrow, you'll need to set aside those graduated measuring cups, the kind often used in the kitchen. Tomorrow, when you wake up at 7 in the morning, you do not collect that first urine of the day. Why? Because the first urine you pass tomorrow morning wasn't produced tomorrow, it was produced today. Understand? So, that first urine is discarded. Then, you start collecting from the second urine onwards up until the day after tomorrow, the first urine, because the first urine of the day after tomorrow is actually tomorrow's urine. A bit confusing, right? But if you think about it calmly, pause the video and watch it carefully. You'll understand what I'm saying. Another important thing, don't change your habits. Because if you're trying to get a diagnosis of what's going on, some guidance about what's making you wake up several times at night to pee, if you change your habits, you'll probably end up masking the problem, okay? So keep drinking what you usually drink, keep eating what you usually eat, keep doing your usual activities so you can get an accurate measurement, all right? Ideally, this should be done for three consecutive days, okay? but I know that sometimes it's complicated, but if you can manage it, that's better. All right? If not, let's start with 24 hours. All right, doctor, I've written it down. 
I got the little piece of paper. Every time I peed, I checked the amount and wrote it down on the paper. Second step, you're going to add up the total amount of urine you produced in 24 hours. So for example, 200 ml plus 350 plus 450, grab a calculator and add it all up. Then write down urine volume in 24 hours. Write down the value you got. Let me give you an example here, okay? 2000 ml, two liters. Now you're going to write down the amount of urine you produced exclusively at night. When I say at night, I mean after you went to sleep. Oh, and it's important in this voiding diary to note the time you went to bed and the time you woke up, okay? So you're going to check and see. For example, I went to bed at 10 o'clock and woke up first, or the first time I woke up was at midnight. I woke up at midnight, woke up at 3, and woke up at 7, and then you stayed awake. So you'll take those three urinations, add them up, and write down nighttime urine volume. Let's suppose it came to 1 liter, 1,000 ml. You will divide the nighttime urine volume by the total urine volume over 24 hours. In our example here, 1,000 ml divided by 2,000. This calculation in our example now will give 0.5. This result should not exceed 0.3 because at night we produce less urine than during the day. Okay? So if you are consistently urinating more than 30%, that's why 0.3 of your total urine volume during the nighttime hours, you have what we commonly refer to as nocturnal polyuria. The problem lies in urine production, not in the bladder. So if you divide the nighttime urine volume by the total 24 hour urine volume and it's greater than 0.3, that means there is increased urine production at night, okay? And we'll talk about the causes of this in a moment. Hold on. If it's less than 0.3, then we'll continue with the calculations. You will take the 24 hour urine volume and since we've already calculated the nighttime urine volume, you will also have calculated the daytime urine volume when you're awake. You will take these two volumes and divide each by the number of urinations in each period. For the nighttime one I mentioned, one liter divided by three gives 333, right? There's another liter left. Let's suppose there were five times during the day. That would be 250 milliliters, right? So I have an average volume per urination at night of 330 milliliters and an average daytime volume, okay? And then you will compare the two. These volumes, our bladder capacity doesn't change, neither at night nor during the day, it's the same, okay? So they have to be close. If they are different, and especially usually in these cases, when they are different, and I say different, but they don't have to be exactly the same, okay? There will be a slight variation. But if there's more than 150 milliliters difference, probably in your case, the nighttime one will be smaller. If this nighttime urine volume is much small, uh, yeah, smaller than the average daytime urine volume, right, in the calculation we did, the problem is with the signal that's being sent. And in this case, it's very likely that you're waking up and then you feel the urge to pee. That's the second reason. The quality of your sleep is affecting how many times you urinate at night. It's increasing the number of times you have to go. So doctor, mine are the same. Then you look at the average capacity of both. If they are the same, but this volume is below 250 or below 200, you have a total sensory problem in the bladder or a prostate issue. Your bladder isn't storing what it should be storing. It's only in this last option that generally prostate and bladder problems will fit. Oh, doctor, isn't there any other sign we can analyze? Obviously there is. For example, in the first case, which is increased urine production. Generally, what we observe in these cases, the main causes are sleep apnea, that is a sign that may be present together, such as heavy snoring, uncontrolled high blood pressure, diabetes, diuretics that you might be taking at the wrong time, or in short, if you have to take them at night, or what we call edematous states, for example, swelling in the legs. If you have any of these factors and they're not under control, this will make you produce more urine at night. Therefore, you'll need to stop and analyze, or even drinking water at night can also make you wake up more often during the night to pee. So you'll analyze all these factors and think, wow, my legs swell. What are you going to do? You should lie down two hours before you go to sleep and elevate your legs. You should wear compression stockings during the day. This will solve the issue of fluid redistribution that happens when you lie down right before sleeping. Oh, I'm taking a diuretic at night as prescribed by my doctor. Talk to your doctor about whether you can take it at another time.
Don't stop taking it on your own, okay? My blood pressure is out of control. So when was the last time you checked your blood pressure? Check your blood pressure. Got it? Oh, I'm snoring a lot. See a sleep specialist. You need to do a polysomnography to check if your sleep quality is good. Second scenario, doctor. My result was less than 0.3. I don't produce much urine at night, but the average amount I urinate at night was 150 milliliters. And during the day, I urinate 400. So I only urinate a lot at night. You need to assess the quality of your sleep. Here too, a polysomnography is recommended. Practice what we call sleep hygiene. Go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Avoid screen exposure at night. Avoid exposure to white light at night at least one or two hours before going to bed. Avoid activities that cause you anxiety or increase your alertness at night such as physical exercise or work tasks that require a lot of concentration in the evening as these can disrupt your sleep. Avoid coffee and substances containing caffeine after 4 or 6, after 4 or 5 in the afternoon. All of this will harm your sleep quality and may be causing you to sleep poorly. And then, yes, you end up waking up and needing to urinate. And you take the opportunity to pee, right? And the third factor, the third cause, is bladder and prostate problems. Doctor, I urinate a lot both at night and during the day in very small amounts. 200, 250 milliliters, sometimes even less than that every time. And so my urinary frequency is high both at night and during the day. In addition, prostate problems like a weaker stream, a stream that should be continuous but stops midway, the feeling that you can't fully empty your bladder, all of this points to a problem, either what we call an overactive bladder or a prostate issue, and often the two can be related. Put this into practice. This voiding diary gives us a lot of information. Do it calmly, without rushing, so you can get proper guidance and take it to your urologist. This is a very important assessment, but we rarely do it. Most urologists don't ask for this voiding diary because it's a lot of work to do, we know that, right? You pretty much have to stay home all day just measuring this, but it gives some very interesting answers and makes you much more aware of your urination habits. Deal? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this finally clears up once and for all why you're waking up at night to urinate. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, okay? This is very important so that I can keep producing this kind of content and keep helping you improve your urinary quality of life. I'm Dr. Tiago and I'll see you in the next video.